أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى الطيبين الطاهرين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته It's the 23rd of Ramadan, my goodness. The days are going so fast. Gonna miss this month so much. It's just, it's just too quick. We're just in the last week now. And it, it feels like we haven't fulfilled the, if I can say, the obligations to the month of Ramadan. Uh, I just wish we can carry on and pray really vehemently that we can carry on the same connection to the Quran that we had in the month of Ramadan. And today we will go back to looking at Surat Al Qamar. But before that, let's recite the first ayah of the 23rd juz. A'udhu billahi min ash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa ma li ala a'abudu alladhi fatarani wa ilayhi turja'oon. Now this was said by Habib the carpenter to his people when or he was he was actually trying to explain to them to follow the prophets and they wouldn't less listen and he said don't you understand what they're trying to tell you why should i not serve him who created me who made me who brought me into existence and to him i will return it's not rocket science it's very very simple you and I always say, Inna Allahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. We are from Allah and to Him we will return. And that's exactly what He was saying. Why should I not be the servant, serve Him, obey Him who created me and to whom I will return? Let's now recite the du'as of the month of Ramadan. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya Aliyu, Ya Adim, Ya Ghafuru, Ya Rahim, Anta Rabbul Adim, Alladhi Laysa Kamithlihi Shay, Wa Huwa Sami'u Al Basir, Wa Hadha Shaharun Adhamtahu, Wa Karramtahu, Wa Sharraftahu, Wa Fadhaltahu Ala Shuhur, Wa Huwa Shaharu Alladhi Faradta Siyamahu Alayhi, وهو شهر رمضان الذي أنزلت فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان وجعلت فيه ليلة القدر وجعلتها خيرا من ألف شهر فيا ذا المني ولا يمن عليك من علي بفكاك رقبتي من النار في من تمن علي وادخلني الجنة برحمتك يا أرحم الراهمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم أدخل على أهل القبور السرور اللهم أغني كل فقير اللهم أشفي كل جائع اللهم اكسو كل عريان اللهم اكذي دين كل مدين اللهم فرجا كل مكروب اللهم رد كل غريب اللهم فك كل سير اللهم اصلح كل فاسد من أمور المسلمين اللهم اشف كل مريض اللهم سد فقرنا بغناك اللهم غير سوء حالنا بحسن عالك اللهم اكذينا الدين واغننا من الفقر إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم رب شهر رمضان الذي أنزلت فيه القرآن وافترثت على عبادك فيه الصيام صل على محمد وعلى محمد وارزقني هج بيتك الحرام في عام هذا وفي كل عام واغفر لي تلك الذنوب العظام فإنه لا يغفرها غيرك يا رحمن يا علام We will now recite the dua for the 23rd day of the month of Ramadan. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. Allahumma ghsirni fihi min al-thunub. Wa tahrni fihi min al-ayub. Wa amtahin qalbi fihi bitaqwa al-qulub. Ya muqila farat al-mudnibin. Oh Allah, on this day, wash away my sins. Purify me for all those things that I want to hide. Ayyib is, is the mistakes that I don't want others to see. Examine my heart so that I might be able to achieve God consciousness in my heart. Oh, he who overlooks the shortcomings of those who sin. Call him by this name. Ya Muqila Tharad al It's such a beautiful name of Allah. 
for today we're gonna go back to Surah Al Qamar. Now let me just give you a reminder. You know Surah Al Qamar was Surah number fifty four. We know it was the moon. We know we we had fifty five ayat and that we had divided it into eight sections. In the first section, we looked at the splitting of the moon and the day of Qiyamah. In the second section, we looked at Prophet Nu, and then we looked at the destruction of his people because they refused to follow divine guidance. So they mocked him. Then we saw the arrogance of the people people of people of hood as in other words the people of Ad if you remember that was in the third section in the fourth section we looked at the people of Thamud and their wastefulness and we see how Prophet Saleh comes with his camel they wanted the camel and they still didn't agree and they killed the camel and we see the punishment that ensued on top of them and finally we looked at section five when we looked at Prophet Lut and we saw that these people caused hurt. They kidnapped people. They they were shameful. They they did shameless stuff and they abused people. So we looked at the destruction that came upon them as well. And today we're gonna to look at Prophet Musa and Fir'aun. And we find that the people of Fir'aun rejected the signs. There were so many warnings that came to them and they lied against them. So um there's Prophet Musa asking Fir'aun and saying, look, we must, you must allow the Bani Israel to come with me. And he says, no, first, then he, he agrees when all these different signs come. There's a drought, there's hailstones, there's locusts, there's beetles, there's frogs. The, the, the water of the Nile becomes red like blood. And then there's a plague on livestock. And every time there's a sign, he says, OK, you can take, take them. Finally, Allah orders Prophet Musa to leave Egypt and he goes to, he takes the Bani Israel by cover and night and, and they, they leave. And as soon as Pharaoh finds out, he follows them with a large army. So you can imagine when Prophet Musa reaches the Red Sea, um, the peace people are saying, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? We are stuck. They, they actually stood there. Um, Quran says this quite beautiful in Surah Al-Shu'ara. Kala ashabu Musa, the people of Musa said, Inna la mudrakun, we're finished now, we're, we're gone. And you know what Prophet Musa says, says Kalla, never, never, never. Inna ma'aya rabbi sayahdin, my Rabb is with me, he will show me the way. That is the trust you and I want. That's what we want to build up in ourselves. That we don't know. I mean, at that time, people didn't just part waters just like that. It wasn't an in thing. And then he's told, strike the water. And when he strikes the water, there is a path. Twelve paths, one for each of the tribes of Bani Israel. So it's really, really amazing, this trust in Allah, which we find. Now let's look what this, what these ayahs say. In ayah 41, Allah says, The warnings came to Fir'aun's people. So they had loads of warnings. I talked about them, the seven warnings that they had. But they rejected all our signs. Remember, seven and then the other two signs were the staff turning into a snake and the hand that Prophet Musa had that he put under his armpit, took it out, and it was like a light. But they rejected it. They called it magic. And he says, They rejected all of them. So we took them. We actually, when you say Allah says, we seized them. Akhada azizim muqtadir with a mighty, with a powerful taking. Muqtadir is one who get, carries great power. Because Firon used to say, I have great power. But look what happened to him. Because he disobeyed, he was disobedient to divine guidance. And it's for something for us to think about. So inshallah, we will continue by to looking at um, Surah Al Qamar tomorrow. And tomorrow we will look at the next section. That is section number seven. So let us pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant all our marhumin maghfira. Let us recite the Surah Al-Fatiha and for shafa of all those who are ill and, and for to, to provide relief for all those who are in trouble. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Maliki Yawmiddin. Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'in. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بخمسة أتفي بها حر الوباء الحاتمة المستفى والمرتضى وعبناهما والفاتمة جزاكم الله خير إن شاء الله أسيو تمارو في مان الله كريم